In this video I will show you how hackers use DeepSeek locally with Python. Therefore you will learn how to program your own DeepSeek chatbot in Python. You will learn how to run DeepSeek locally on your computer and interact with it using Python. So there's no risk for cyber espionage or account bans. You can experiment with various large language model pen testing techniques locally on your computer to ensure a safe use of DeepSeek R1. This video is for educational purposes only. Please do not commit crimes and stay legal. Make sure you have Olama and DeepSeek R1 already installed on your computer. Olama is a program that allows you to run numerous AI models locally on your computer. To do this, go to the website olama.com. Here you will already see that Olama also offers the AI model DeepSeek R1. Click on the download button to download Olama. You will see that the program is available for macOS, Linux and Windows. Below the appropriate download for your system will automatically be suggested. Click on the download for Windows button. After that an exe file will be downloaded which is about 750 megabytes in size. Double click on the exe file after downloading. Then a setup dialog will open. Click on the install button at the bottom. In the next window make sure you have selected the option automatically close the applications and click on next. Olama will then be installed which may take a few minutes. Once the installation is complete we can start Olama. Press the window key and R simultaneously to open this run window. Type cmd and press enter. Now we want to start DeepSeek R1 directly via Olama. But first we need to download the model. For example enter DeepSeek R1 Olama in Google and click on the link that takes you to the website olama.com. Here you will see the DeepSeek AI and you can learn about its performance and other features. In this drop down you can choose how powerful DeepSeek should be. This is determined by the number of tokens. The standard is 7 billion tokens. However, depending on the power of your computer, you can also download versions with 8 billion, 14 billion, 32 billion or even 671 billion tokens. Pay attention to the size of each AI model and plan accordingly for the download time. And how do we download DeepSeek now? It's simple. Copy the command here into your clipboard and switch back to the CMD window. Paste the command and press enter. Since DeepSeek R1 is not yet installed on your computer, Olama will search for the model and automatically download it. You only need to do this once and after that it will be stored on your computer. This might take a while. We will then start a server with Olama by entering the command Olama serve. Now you see this message when accessing this IP address along with the port. Very good. If you are deeply interested in Python programming, I recommend my bestseller Python for Beginners. There we discuss all the basics necessary to program the DeepSeek AI chatbot from this video. You will find a link to the book in the pinned comment. Now let's focus on programming the actual chatbot. First we import the two modules requests and json. Requests is needed to make API calls. You can install this module with the command pip install requests. JSON is already part of the standard library and is used to process the API requests and responses. In the main program we define an initially empty list named conversation where our dialog with the AI is stored. As long as the user doesn't enter the command exit, he will be prompted for an input stored in the variable prompt. The varus operator ensures that the prompt query occurs right in the loop header. Next we add the prompt along with the role user to our list that stores the conversation. Then we prepare a dictionary named data in which we set up the request to the API. This dictionary contains three entries. The model deepseek r1 the prompt or past conversation and the node that we do not want to establish a stream. Next we define the API endpoint to which we want to send our prompt. In this case it's the localhost that means 
172.0.0.1 at port 11434 because Olama starts a local server that listens on port 11434. There we call slash API slash chat. We then call the post function on the requests module, passing in the API endpoint and the previously defined data, which also includes the prompt. We store the result in a variable named response. From response, we read the text attribute. We pass this to the loads function of the JSON module to convert the server's response into JSON format. We store the result in the variable response underscore JSON. To get the actual response from DeepSeq, we first read the message field and then the content field. We store the result in a variable named answer. Next, we add the response as a dictionary entry with the role assistant, this is DeepSeq R1, to our list of the ongoing conversation. Finally, we print the response. Lastly, we want to test our program. I've saved the code in a file named chatbot.py. To start it, we run it with the command python chatbot.py. We ask DeepSeq to create a fully functional network scanner in Python. And a few seconds later, it gives us the Python code for that. Thanks for watching and see you next time.